Hello. Hello. You, you are, are listening, listening to, to the Carol Connection, Connection. With, with your, your host, host. Jerry, Jerry Carol. Carol. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Carol Connection. I am your host, Jared Carroll, here to bring you guys another great episode. I did want to take a chance to shout out last week's episode, episode 87 with Josh Troiano. He's a high school football player. He's an aspiring leader. He's a great dude. Um, We talked about a lot pretty much in that podcast about how he grew up, why he chose football, as well as a couple other things. Um, Being a high school student during COVID, interesting time for him. Uh, Coaching change at Seekonk High School. So a lot of stuff that I went through when I was in high school, he's going through currently. So it was an interesting chance to pick his brain a little bit, and we talked a little bit about that. Uh, check it out at thecarrollconnection.simplecast.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the major listening platforms. So today, well, I, I do want to take a chance to talk about last week. Um, I didn't record an episode last week. I had a can- cancellation on my part for the first time in a long time. Um family had COVID. I got sick. I'm not sure if I actually had COVID or not. I I took a a test and it was negative on the take-home test, but my family had COVID. So most likely I had COVID um, or maybe the flu, who knows with the craziness that's going on in this world. But I took last last week off, unfortunately. So I didn't drop an episode. So this week I had a guest scheduled for today. Um, obviously with the pending snowstorm that was going to hit for Saturday, tomorrow, you guys won't hear this episode till Monday, but we decided to reschedule just for, for everyone's safety. Um, but I didn't want to go two weeks without doing a podcast. So, and I haven't done like a, a solo podcast in a long time. So I figured I should come on here and kind of just open up a little bit. I think the last solo podcast that I did was my birthday reflection back in November, So a lot of stuff has changed since then, and the title of this episode is called Feeling Stuck, because I think a lot of us, when we go through life, we get caught up with our own emotions, we get caught up with where we are currently in our own lives, and we compare ourselves to people on social media, and we think where they are is where we're supposed to be, or we should be ahead of them, or we're always comparing, and comparison as I like to say, is the thief of joy. Because when you're comparing yourself to other people, you're not necessarily enjoying your journey. And I think personally, the best way to go through life is to enjoy your actual journey. We all have a specific journey for ourselves. We all have our own destiny, as you could say. Um, But lately, I've been kind of feeling stuck at my job, with the podcast a little bit, just going to be honest about it. And I've been fighting with myself about whether I should take a break from doing podcasting. Um, I've been looking into different careers in my own personal life, looking at new jobs, and I've been feeling a little bit anxious, and I've been nervous about doing this episode because it's hard to say you're feeling stuck, honestly. Um, I don't think many of us could come on a platform and say that we're feeling stuck in our own life. Because no one wants to feel stagnant. No one wants to feel like stuck in neutral, I guess, sit in the same place. Um, We all want to be moving forward. And for some reason, I don't know if it's just being sick is causing these emotions, but I somewhat feel like I'm stuck. Like I'm not growing the way that I should. And I I don't know what the the deep cause of that is. Um, I've been trying to analyze that myself. I used to talk about this a lot in therapy. Um, I used to change a lot in my career. Um, I probably never had a job longer than two years. I was always looking for the next higher income, and I would always move on to the best job that I could find. And this is the longest that I've currently been at my current position. I know I don't talk too much about my own personal career on my podcast, but I felt like this was a a good episode to kind of come out and talk about it because... For me, when I look at the landscape of my career, I'm 26 years old currently. They say within the first five years of you starting your career is where you can make the most possible income going towards the future. So 
when I look at what I make currently, where I want to, what I want to make, what I want to do for my life, I know that I need to start making decisions for myself that are going to push me into the right positions. And I've had talks with my leadership team at work and I'm working on being a better communicator. Um, I think I've shown that through the podcast that if you guys listen regularly, that I do try to work on my communication skills with everybody. I do try to be open, be honest, put forward my best self. And sometimes I don't always do that. Sometimes I have bad episodes. Sometimes I'm a bad host. And uh, I think it's a fair critique for myself that I talk too much sometimes in some episodes. And I'm trying to get better at allowing my guests to feel like they have their own voice and they're not pressured to speak. And that's something that I've really tried to get better at. So when I talk about feeling stuck, that's what I kind of mean. It's more more career-wise. Uh, kind of with the podcast, this is episode 88. So when I look towards the future, I see episode 100 fast approaching. And that's something I'm very excited about. I'm I'm approaching uh, 10,000 listens as well. So there's a lot of stuff to be excited about as uh, the host of, of the Carol Connection. And I'm very appreciative to everyone that has come on this platform and shared their feelings, shared their stories, shared their thoughts with me because it's allowed me to become more reflective and it's allowed me to kind of peek in to everyone's personal life a little bit. And I've it's allowed me to share that with everybody. And I appreciate the people that do listen to my solo episodes. <laughs> I know sometimes that it's cool to hear other people's stories, but you don't always really hear me talk about my life. So when I do a solo episode like this, this is kind of my opportunity to kind of, um, how do I say this, express myself. And I like to use these, like I always say, as like a audio journal session. And I'm trying to put myself in a better position going forward. I think I mentioned on a couple episodes recently that I've been doing 5.30 uh, a.m. workouts. My body is looking a lot better, so I'm doing the right things in that in that category. Um, being sick has definitely affected me the last like week and a half. I mean, you could probably hear it in my voice. I'm definitely a little uh, congested at the moment, so I was debating whether to actually do this episode, but I feel good behind the mic currently, so... It feels good to kind of just talk about what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling. And when you have that that feeling of being stuck, it's such a powerful emotion or a powerful feeling because I know we all experience it at some point in our life where you don't think things are progressing in the way that you want them to or you don't feel as if that what you want is obtainable sometimes, that you feel stagnant. And I think the only way to like overcome that kind of fear, that feeling is to like acknowledge that it's actually there and to do something about it. So what have I been doing? I'm looking at possible career changes. I'm looking at ways to improve this podcast. I'm looking at ways to improve my body. Um, all these things, even I'm reading more. It's these things that you need to do to be a better person and I'm far from perfect. I will always say that I'm not a perfect person. I make mistakes. I say the wrong things. Um, I'm sometimes toxic. And I think that when you can admit that, honestly, and I'm doing it on a public platform, um, you can inspire change within yourself and hopefully others that if you could do it, so can anybody else. I'm not a famous person. I don't have a lot of followers. Um, I don't get crazy listens on the podcast. But I do it because it helps me. I enjoy it. Um, I really hope that people out there, when they do listen to me, that I help in some type of way. Because I think a lot of people are scared to have a voice. They're scared to speak up on matters. And as you guys know, my podcast has always been centered around mental health and talking about how I feel and how other people feel and just being your authentic self. And I think the only way to sometimes do that is to kind of step out of that comfort zone and present yourself to the world, essentially. Um, as you guys know, I always talk about social media is such a huge platform. It's essentially a resume. And 
I accept what comes with that. I accept when I post things on TikTok that they come across as sometimes depressive or sad to some people because I post about relationship and breakup stuff. But I know the people who I do post or who do follow me and I post for appreciate those posts because they do help. And when I first created the page for that content specifically, it was for myself to like overcome what I was going through at that time. And I've been doing it ever since because that platform has allowed me kind of step out of that, that comfort zone that I just mentioned and be kind of sad. And like, I don't think this platforms like at least social media in general that allow you to just express your sadness and heartbreak is like one of the ultimate sadnesses, obviously death being another one, but to just be like, Hey, I was broken up with, Hey, I was ghosted with, Hey, I was left behind. I think, being able to like openly say those things and express them help other people. So that's something I've been actively trying to do on that platform. So I know some of my friends, my own life will judge me for it, but I, I respectfully don't care. Um, and I do it because I really want to. And it's something that I've enjoyed. I'll be honest, making TikToks, making content in general is just something I really enjoy. It's become like a little side hustle for me. And I've definitely felt lately that my content has become a little stagnant. That goes back to the, the, the title of the episode, Feeling Stuck. But I know consistency will override that. So as long as you're consistent and you consistently put out content, that you can overcome this feeling of being stuck. And that is why I'm doing this episode. Because... I want to stay consistent because I enjoy doing this content, because I know it can help people, because I know some people do listen and do enjoy the conversations that I have with people, and I do know some people enjoy my hearing my own thoughts on things. So that's the thought process behind posting this episode specifically, because I have been feeling stuck, and I think it's okay. I think it's normal to feel like things sometimes aren't moving as fast as you want them to. But I think it's also productive to say, you're going to get there. It's going to happen because I believe in that, that concept of like law of attraction. What you say out is what you're going to get back. So I've been doing like this 369 manifestation method journal type thing uh, during my morning routine, my afternoon and night where I'm writing that I want to be the healthiest version of me and I'm thankful for my growing social media platforms because Every single day, I'm working to create content that hopefully helps people in some sort of way, whether it is mental health, whether it is a relationship, whether it is motivating them to, to chase something that they're passionate about. And that's what I'm trying to do. And that is the, the preface or um, what should I say? Reason or motivation behind this episode. Because I don't do solo episodes a lot, um, I have an idea of a side project that I'm working on that I might present on TikTok and Instagram eventually. That's kind of like a, a sub roll under of the Carol Connection. And I want to continually pursue different avenues. And I might do it. I might drop it. It's like a solo little mini series that I'm working on where I can just express myself and talk about my my own personal struggles a little bit more in depth because I don't normally do that. It'd be a shorter, shorter versions of what I'm doing currently, it'd probably be like five to 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes max, because these solo episodes, I usually do like 20, 30 minutes. I try to keep them relatively short for you guys, easier for me to edit too. So it definitely helps me to do that. But the mental health aspect of feeling stuck is a unique thing because it is a depressive mood you know um it's different than heartbreak it's different than losing a loved one because you kind of you kind of you're looking for answers and you don't know where to look sometimes and we live in a in a time right now where social media is a huge thing where there's plenty of people out there that you could talk to there's plenty of people out there that you could get or ask questions i should meet mean and you could youtube stuff you can google stuff so 
there's options out there for everybody. But feeling stuck, man. I don't know how to express it other than that because I think a lot of us get confused on our own path. And I, I think the, the message behind that is our paths are never straight. They're a curved, windy road that has many hills that go up and then you go downhill. It's kind of like I always mention like climbing a mountain. And maybe I need to kind of like remind myself that I am climbing a mountain essentially. Um, I'm in that phase where I'm ready for some change. And I think that also reflects my career and the podcast. I think I'm gearing up to, to try new things with this. I'm not sure exactly what at this point, but I'm open to the idea that I'm going to have to take this to a different level and put myself out there in ways that I haven't yet. And I'll be honest, that's kind of kind of fucking scary. It's kind of scary to to think about that I'm going to have to try something new within this next year. And I think that's something that we all face when we look at like New Year's resolutions is we're presenting the idea of change in front of us. I don't think any of us really love change, to be honest. We would rather chill in our comfort zone, and I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. But when you do want to inspire, when you do want to help other people, you have to be able to help yourself. And the only way to help yourself is to put yourself in situations that you're going to grow. And I think currently, I'm... I think it goes back to the metaphor. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in the podcast. Uh, some of you guys may have seen it. You can only grow as big as your pond. Like if you take a fish, you put it in a small pond. It's only going to grow so big. You put it in a bigger pond, there's a chance for it to grow bigger because its environment's bigger. And I think for myself that I need to be in, place myself into a bigger environment. And I've kind of known this for a while, that I would eventually begin to outgrow my current environment. And... I'm getting closer to that every day and I want to challenge myself to become a better person. So I think I know what I kind of have to do. And I think this episode is kind of like a way for me to critique myself a little bit on a platform that is mine, obviously. So, cause I don't know who's going to listen to this. I don't know if anyone even realistically cares to listen to, to what I have to say sometimes, but I just keep speaking. And I think that's, part of the journey is to just keep doing just keep going and I think that's kind of why I wanted to do an episode called feeling stuck because we all feel stuck you're all gonna hit roads where your your videos might not get a lot of views or my podcast don't get a lot of listens or maybe your posts don't get a lot of likes it happens all of us go through through rough patches um whether it's dating, whether you're not finding the right people, you, you're getting ghosted a lot, you're having bad first dates and you're not getting callbacks or maybe at your job and things aren't going right, you're messing up, you're having small errors or your your boss isn't happy with your work or he's making your life more difficult. We all go through these things. We all go through things that make us feel like frustrated and like things aren't progressing in the way that we want them to, but you have to overcome it. You have to keep going. You have to keep pushing. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to push out there as the message for this episode is to continually push through that feeling stuck. Like you got to get through that. And I'm in that patch right now. I'm working through that. And this is me being vulnerable as fuck with you guys because uh, I don't normally do this. So this is my chance to kind of open out there and just kind of push through it. I mean, we're coming up on end of January, so I think the end of the month always kind of make us really ref reflective as people. At least they should. Um, chapter 1 out of 12 for 2022 is coming to an end. And overall, I think it was a pretty solid year. <laughs> year. Uh, month, I should say. I'm going to fuck that one up. But... There's a lot to be excited for. I think there's going to be a lot of great connections. Connections. Um, coming soon for this next upcoming uh, few months. I have episodes planned through February. So 
get definitely get excited about that and bringing back former guests who want to come back on, which is always a cool thing that people are willing to come back onto the podcast. That's something to be very proud of. And I've been doing this for over two years, so I don't really plan on stopping at this point. It's just going to be, there's going to be different ways that I'm going to be doing this. So excited to see what's going to happen in the future. Stay tuned for future episodes. There's going to be a lot of great content that I'm going to be dropping for you guys. So great guest too. And I'll definitely probably try to do some more solo episodes. I got to get better with creating some content for, excuse me, for the, the podcast. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm in that place. But when you're in these places, this is the best opportunity for yourself to create change. So we'll see what I could do. Um, I do want to take a chance to shout out all my last, uh, my more recent episodes. Um, if you guys haven't checked those out, please check those out at thecarolconnection.simplecast.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the major listening platforms. There's a lot of great people with great stories that are, have, have come on the podcast. I have, I'm so thankful for every single one of them. And there's going to be a lot of great future connections to be made. So definitely going to be worth checking out. And I appreciate you guys let, listening to me uh, ramble for the last like 20 minutes. So um, stay tuned for next week. And until next time, guys, peace. <laughs>